I have this Honda pressure washer and it is cutting out on me when I pull the trigger, but it seems to idle okay. So let's take a look at this carburetor. See what is going on here. By idling, I mean not pulling the trigger. The thing is, is that with these, they don't idle as in like a lower RPM. What they do is uh, when there's no load on them, then they rev up. And then when you apply a load, the governor opens up that throttle a little bit more. So I'm not getting any big problems without the uh, throttle being pulled. But as soon as I pull that throttle, it seems to slowly die on me. So keep all this together. Let's see if we can pull this little thing out. Can't really see it, but there's a clamp on the fuel hose here. Just have to kind of push it back a little bit. Okay. We have a, another gasket here attached to this. This is gonna be the choke lever. Okay, now it's just the governor, which the governor itself came out pretty easy. Let's get the governor spring. And then there should be another gasket on the back of this. I have a gasket there and a gasket there. All right. Otherwise, everything's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna get this up on the bench and uh, we'll start turning apart. All right, let's bust her open. This whole thing takes 10 millimeters. <laughs> Usually with like all the Briggs stuff, everything's all different sizes. Okay. Now I cleaned this like a year and a half ago and it was running fine. So I'm curious what may have happened. So looking at it, this thing looks pretty clean. I don't know why it was cutting out and it still looks clean. You know, it was acting like it was running out of water. I wonder if it seems like it's fine. I want to take a look at this needle fit first. Let's just pull it out, take a look here. See if anything might be clogging in there. It's a little gunky. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to get a, a look or not. A little gunky in there actually. So what I'm gonna do, let me blow that out. I have some carb cleaner here. Look at this needle. Yeah, if you look at that, interesting. So it, it has some crusties on it. Well, <laughs> take my word for it. It does have some crusties on it. So it makes me think maybe there's some buildup. Cause it was, it's just weird. It was acting like it was running out of fuel when I would open it up. So the needle feels like it's fine, but blowing on it, um, with it partially open, it did sound like a bit of a restriction. So I will blow that out. But first, let's take out the uh, main jet here. Almost have it. It wants to come out. All right, got it. And then there's the emulsion tube. It does look a little crusty. All right, so I have this wire brush here. And here's the, uh, the uh, I believe it's the Pilot Jet. This is the one for idle here. What I'm gonna do is just, cause usually this one's really tiny. And just to make sure it's clear, cause you can't really pull this one out. I have the smallest wire. I have, and I'm just gonna try to make a little opening in there. These are gonna be jets as well. Can't really see them without the lights. I believe this one's a vent. I believe it goes here to vent the, the bowl. 
and then this one actually is a a jet so you, you want to make sure that one's clear but all these seem really really clear it actually seems like a very clean carburetor which i remember doing okay so what we're going to do is bump these sizes up until you feel some restriction on it and just really clean up the sides of it it seemed like where the problem was usually when you have idle problems it's going to be in this pilot jet up here i believe that's what it's called and then when you have running problems say like when you put it under load it's going to be under your main jet and your emulsion tube because that's where most of everything's kind of coming through when you open it up so i don't know if you can see do that maybe i can throw on a light so you guys can see look at that nice and clear so looking good there what we're gonna do is take the smallest one there's a lot of little pinholes in the emulsion tube just to go through all of them there's a lot of little tiny ones here what i'll do i'm just gonna spray everything down with card cleaner put her back together and uh, let's go run it. Let's see if uh, we're having the same problem. What was happening is I'd pull the trigger and it would slowly start dying and just kind of shut off. I release it and it would actually idle okay or run with no load okay. So uh, I'm gonna blow all this out, put it back together. It looks really clean, but um, just kind of looking at it, my guess is maybe the fuel wasn't flowing as much and it wasn't making it up to this hole here. Possibly this emulsion tube is a little dirty and that was causing it. We don't know. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Well, that's all it took. My guess is probably the needle, I think, uh, had a little bit on it. And uh, the fuel flow just wasn't up to snuff, you know, using it. Because right now, I mean, that started easy. It sounds great. It feels like it has full power. So it must have been slowly getting worse and worse. And what's interesting is I drain that bowl after every use. So there is no gas that sits in it. Um, just goes to show, I mean, over any sort of time, a gasoline engine, you know, carburetor will need to be maintained. I mean, you looked inside and it looked spotless, but there was just a little bit of crusties in there that needed to be treated. So just a good thing for everyone to kind of keep up on. Even if you maintain it, you run everything through it, drain the gas. Every now and then you'll have to go in and just kind of clean it up a bit. So uh, 
hopefully uh, this helps people, you know, kind of diagnose issues. So uh, thanks for joining. All right, till next time, guys.